What's going on everybody? I'm back with another High Limit Coin Buster video for you all today. And in today's video, we're not going to be doing any buy-ins. The manager actually wanted me to pay $200 million to play this game today. He said he would have given me 20 quarters. So that is an outrageous buy-in right there and a very, very risky game. Only 20 quarters, that's crazy. And uh, anyway, he said, I bet you 10 free quarters that you're not going to get it to go so he gave me 10 free quarters and he said I could win as much of this stuff out of here as I can using these uh, 10 quarters right here but he said if I don't get it to go and I end up losing I have no choice but to do the 200 million dollar buy-in or I could just uh, walk away from the machine so anyway the similar situation happened yesterday the manager actually gave me uh, 15 free quarters and he ended up losing half a billion dollars. Oh my goodness, come on, big money. Oh my goodness. Wow, that was absolutely insane right there. Did you see how many quarters we just got? That was crazy. Holy moly, I'll definitely play that in slow motion for you all. But anyway, uh, let's go see how many quarters we've won, and we'll get right back to pushing. You all are not going to believe this. Check this out. We got around 200 quarters. We also made like six or seven ounces of gold. This is doing absolutely amazing. Oh, yeah, and that's going to be a good push. Nice, there we go. And we also just got a $1 chip right there. Did you see that? It was like hidden inside that quarter tower. Yeah, I definitely think... The manager is going to be in big trouble after this game right here. Wow, this is pushing so well today. We're getting all the towers to go. Oh my goodness. Well, this right here is definitely pushing a lot better than it usually does. I have no clue why we're winning so much money today, but uh, probably because uh, there's like a base of gold underneath all these ginormous towers. Yeah, we done got like the majority of the quarter towers to crash down already. And that was the main target is those quarter towers. And they all got uh, $10,000 chips at the base of them. All those orange chips in there, those are all $10,000 chips. And check that out, there's a $5 chip. Looks like two more $1 chips. So each one of those $1 chips is worth 500 free quarters. And that $5 chip, if we can win that, we got to cash that in and they'll take all that stuff that is on the blue shelves and they'll put it here into the playing field. So that is exceptional. So let's go get that loose shoot cleared out, round up those quarters, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. So check this out. We got one of them $1 chips. So that's 500 free quarters right there. Uh, plus we're about to get all three of them chips right there in the middle. Come on, nice push. Oh yeah, there we go. We got the rest of that quarter tower to go on the uh, left-hand side. Yeah, I think it's pushing a lot better because there was like a whole bunch of gold underneath all those towers and stuff. Well, I don't think they'll be doing that anymore. Yeah, I just feel bad that uh, we're winning all this stuff completely for free today. And like I was saying, a similar situation happened yesterday as well. Uh, the manager actually wanted me to pay like... Let's see how much was it. I think it was like a hundred million dollars and I told him it was too expensive and he said I'll bet you 15 free quarters you're not going to get it to go. So pretty much I can win as much as I can with the limited amount of quarters that the manager gives me. I can get the whole entire machine cleared out matter of fact and I uh, get to keep everything that I win but if I end up losing the quarters then uh I have to do whatever the have to do whatever buying the manager wanted me to do. So, oh my gosh, nice! There we go. Wow, those are all twenty-five thousand dollars chips. Look at that! Wow, that was a fabulous push right there. Well, the majority of them chips got stuck against the glass, though. So hopefully we can get those out of there. Now they seem like they're stuck in there pretty good. So. Yeah, I think we'll get them eventually, though. Well, I'd say we at least have the potential to make $100 million off of this game, considering the manager wanted $100 million to play it. I mean, I'd hope that I'd at least win $100 million, you know? Like, because what if I would have done a $100 million buy-in? There wouldn't even have been enough in there to make $100 million back. Let's get that loot sheet cleared out. Oh 
Oh my goodness, we have made an absolute fortune. Wow, there was so many $25,000 chips down there in that uh, loot chute. It was piled up super, super well. So yeah, I will count up all those chips here in just a little bit. So I stay tuned for that. Meanwhile, I'm going to try to get that quarter tower over there on the right. I need to try to win as many quarters as possible today. And uh, after we get all this out of here right here and possibly that tower on the right, I'll go ahead and turn in that $5 chip and uh, however many $1 chips we've won. So anyway, they got quite a bit of towers on the blue shelves today. There's so much on there. There's uh, looks like two ginormous golden walls on there. You see those? Those are super, super unique. And uh, they got two of the dollar sign mega money mystery bags. Those are typically loaded up real nice. And uh, let's see, they got four humongous poker chip towers made out of $10,000 chips. And they also got two walls of $5,000 chips way back there in the back. Well, it's like three towers on each side, technically, with a stack of $100 bills on top of each one of them. Y'all may or may not have seen the $100 bills. However, there's $10,000 in, the, in each one of those stacks of cash. So that's some pretty good money right there. So hopefully we can win all this stuff out of here. It's definitely looking pretty promising right now considering the amount of quarters we got and we're going to be able to get after we turn in the $1 chips. Well, that was the last of our quarters right here. So uh, let's see. Big push on the right hand side. I think that's a good idea. Well, see, the quarters like to roll over toward the center and the left a lot of times. All right, well, anyhow, let's go get that loose chute cleared out, and I'll let y'all know how many special chips we've won. Be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. So check this out. There ended up being uh, three of the $1 chips and that $5 chip. So I'm going to go ahead and cash in all four of these chips right here. Uh, they'll give me 1,500 extra quarters, and they'll put all them other towers here into the play field. So we'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that $5 chip. And they took most of the stuff that was on the blue shelves and they put it all into the play field. They got a great big old humongous golden wall back there on the pressure. That is humongous. And they also got the two stacks of cash back there. They got the two mystery bags up front really, really close to falling down. Oh, nice. We just got both of them immediately. That is insane. Oh, yeah. This is doing good. This had to get them out of the loot chute real quick so we don't end up causing a traffic jam. Oh, my goodness. Well, that gold is starting to go now, and all the uh, $10,000 chips are in pretty decent spots, except for this tower over here on the corner. That one might be a little difficult to win. You never know. But uh, anyway, the only thing they did not put in the play field is these two great big old walls of uh, $5,000 chips. So pretty much they said it would be very, very crowded in there. So they just said to uh, win all this stuff out of here, or the majority of it anyway, then all I gotta do is call them back here, and uh, they would do a free reset for me, which means they would put those $5,000 chips into the play field for free. Anyway, that loot shoot is super piled up. Oh nice, there we go! We got the humongous tower on the right hand side, I think. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I got that loot chute all emptied out. My goodness, everything was piled up in there. The gold, the chips, the cash. Luckily, we was able to get it all cleared out of there pretty easily. But yeah, this is doing super duper good today, though. We're winning a boatload of gold out of there, a truckload of chips, a whole bunch of quarters, and all for free as well. Keep in mind, it didn't cost us anything to get into this game right here. Would have been a $200 million buy-in, so keep that in mind. Well, I just dropped a whole bunch of quarters on the floor. I'll pick those up here shortly. Alright, so let's see. Now, I'm not really worried about this tower. $10,000 chips on the left. Because uh, nine times out of ten, they'll rearrange that whenever I call them back here to have them uh, do that free reset. And we also lost some uh, gold to the blue shelf as well over there on the right side. You see that? 
So yeah, thank goodness. Yeah, I'm liking these uh, free reset games where they don't quite put everything that is on the blue shelves into the play field because that way if we do end up losing something to the blue shelf, uh, that free reset, whenever they put those in there, would automatically get us a free reset on that gold right there. And on any other game, whatever the case might be, if we lose chips, so say those were uh, $25,000 chips, it'd be the same scenario. They'd put it back into the play field whenever I call them back here to have them do that free reset. So, yeah, I think I like it better whenever they don't put it all in the play field at once. I guess it just uh, keeps things balanced a lot better. I don't know. Well, anyhow, uh, we got all that gold out of there. Like I said, I'm not too worried about this tower on the left. So uh, let's go ahead and check out the two mystery bags just to see if there's any nice and valuable goodies in there. All right, let's see what we got. Nice, we got the mystery money keychain. This could be worth a dollar all the way up to one billion dollars. That is insane right there. It's very, very exciting. And uh, let's see, we got three of the white dice and three of the gold dice. So uh, the gold dice, we'll get to roll them at the end of the game, whatever they land on. The gold will multiply by those numbers. And the white dice, we get to roll them, whatever they land on. My uh, winnings will multiply by those numbers. That is incredible. And we got the 5,000 slash 10,000 chip. Indeed, we did. So this right here is worth one or more free towers made out of five and $10,000 chips. That is super exciting. And uh, let's see, we got uh, two more $1 chips. So that's 1,000 extra quarters right there. All right, well, that mystery bag was loaded up really, really good. So now let's move on to the second mystery bag. Now, this one feels like it's loaded up a little bit less. That's all right, though. It should still be pretty nice. Oh, yeah, we got a couple more $1 chips. Let's see, two more of them. So that's another 1,000 quarters. And uh, we got five more of the white dice and two more gold dice. That is awesome sauce right there. It's definitely going to be a massive win today, potentially a new record win depending on how much uh, chips we can win out of there. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and call them back here, have them do that free reset. So let's do that, and we'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called them back here, and I had them do that free reset. The, they ended up putting all those $5,000 chip towers on the pusher back there. Looks like they combined it all into like one great big old wall of them. And uh, they took that tower that was over here on the left and the gold bars that we lost. And they built it into a brand new tower on the pressure back there. So everything looks like it's in a pretty good spot. And uh, if we do end up losing anything, we got that 5,000 slash 10,000 chip we get to cash in, which that would come with a free reset as well. So, oh nice. Well, that tower fell down in a decent spot, I guess. Oh my goodness. Well, I think we're going to end up losing a couple of chips to the blue shelf. That's all right, though. We'll get it back on the next round. There ain't no point in worrying about it. Oh yeah, that was a nice push right there though. We got a whole bunch of 10k chips. Wow, this is doing remarkably well today. So uh, hit that like button if you're enjoying the video so far. Let's try to get to uh, 25,000 likes on this video. 25,000 likes. I know we can get there. I just need everybody that is watching this video to hit that thumbs up button. And also, if this is your first time watching my channel and you're enjoying this video right here, uh, be sure you subscribe to the channel. That way you never miss a brand new video. Uh, whenever you subscribe, it'll give you the option to turn on the post bell notifications. And if you do that, uh, you will receive notifications on your phone, iPad, TV, laptop, computer. Uh, whatever device you're watching my videos on, you will receive a notification every time I upload a brand new video. And I usually upload videos anywhere from uh, 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Here lately I've been posting at like 3 in the day, 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But uh, every now and then the video will be a little bit late. Sometimes I'll post at like 7 or 8 o'clock at night, sometimes a little bit later. But anyhow, most of the time you can count on me to have a video out by 3 p.m. in the day, no later than that, or no later than 4 or 30 p.m., really. If I don't post anything by 4.30 or 5 or something, then the odds are I won't have a video out until like 
7, 8, 9, or 10 p.m. at night. So I don't think I've ever posted a video in the a.m. before. I never posted a video like early in the morning. Well, actually, I take that back. I think a while back, probably like in November, I posted a video at like 8 o'clock in the morning one time. That's because I did not get it edited in time that evening to uh, post it to YouTube. So I just thought it'd be better if I just posted it the next morning. So that's what I ended up doing there. But uh, anyway, I don't think there's any point in uh, trying to win these $5,000 chips on this round. We win them whenever we turn in the 5,000 slash 10,000 chip. So let's go ahead and turn that in and the three $1 chips or the four $1 chips we won and I uh, will get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that 5,000 slash 10,000 chip and all four of them $1 chips. They gave me 2,000 more quarters and they built this humongous tower made out of five and $10,000 chips in there. And that's honestly probably the tallest tower I've ever seen inside this machine before. It's stacked all the way to the ceiling of this machine. So that is incredible. Yeah, that tower, I'm going to say it's every bit of two or three million dollars. And also, this Mystery Money Keychain today, I just now asked them what that was worth. Uh, they said it was worth 2.2 million dollars today, so that is exceptional. And yeah, we should be able to pull a nice profit out of this game today. That tower on the pusher, it's been a little bit stubborn. Might need to start stacking up the quarters super high back there and try to get it to go. So yeah, like I said, or like I've been saying over the past couple of weeks now, my goal is to get to 200,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I'm really hoping we can get there before that. But uh, yeah, I would definitely like to get to 200,000 subscribers. It's been my goal for a very long time. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you want to see daily videos like this, uh, be sure you subscribe. And also, with that being said, I appreciate all the nice comments and all the support recently and over the past couple of years. Uh, this channel couldn't have been successful without each and every one of y'all, so everybody contributed to the success of this channel equally. I mean, all the subscribers add up, all the views and the likes and the comments add up. Everybody has contributed just as much as the other. Everybody has contributed to it equally, so I truly appreciate you all. You all are absolutely amazing. And I'm hoping to uh, make these videos for at least another 5, 10, 20 years. That would be amazing. So technically, as long as I can, as long as I'm getting a minimum of 10,000 views per video, I will continue making videos for as long as I can. So. Possibly another 70 to 100 years. That'd be awesome. Well, I do enjoy making these videos for you all, so I'm going to be doing this for as long as I can. Yeah, I've enjoyed every minute of making these videos for you all. Oh my goodness, you see that? That tower just lost one of the towers at the base of it. It's literally like leaning back and forth. I've never seen a tower do that before. Might end up falling over there toward the right side. I can't really tell which direction it's going to be going. Let's push on that right side, though. Come on, big money. Oh, my gosh. That power's going to fall. Oh, yeah. It's on the edge now. Come on. Nice push. Yeah, I can't really tell if it's going to fall backwards or fall forward. I guess only time will tell, right? Oh yeah, that whole entire row of $5,000 chips is on the edge. Nice, but it's got the majority of it to go right there. Sweet. Alright, let's rapid fire a bunch of quarters in there and see if it gets that tower to go. Alright, there we are. Let's see what happens. Come on, nice push. Yeah, look at how close that uh, tower right there is, or the base of that tower. It's like hanging over the pusher tremendously. 
Nice, there it goes. We got it. That was awesome. Holy smokes, that was a fantabulous push out there. Alright. Have to make sure that loot shoot's cleared out or else we'll end up losing a whole bunch of that. Uh, for the ones who don't know, there's actually this little opening space right up above the payout chute. And if it gets too full, a lot of times money will fall to the owner. I don't know if you just heard that loud noise right there, but it sounded like a chip went down inside the machine. So we might need to get that loot chute cleared out a little bit better. Alright, there we go. It's completely cleared out now. So uh, let's just try to push the rest of these five and ten thousand dollar chips out of here and we'll be set. Yeah, this has been an absolutely outstanding game today. I definitely think we're going to be able to make uh, way over two hundred million dollars. So no wonder the manager wanted two hundred million dollars for this game. And uh, let's see. Yeah, I can't believe we was able to get it to go with those 10 free quarters that the manager just gave me. I mean, I kind of feel bad for winning all this money for free, but at the end of the day, they've made a lot more money off of me than I'll ever win back, so I guess a little bit wouldn't hurt. But still, I mean, it's technically the manager's fault because he said I could win as much of this as I can with those 10 free quarters, and he said I have the potential to get the whole entire machine turned out. But uh, I don't think he's going to be giving me those three quarters anymore. So, uh, just a quick recap of yesterday's video. Pretty much the manager gave me 15 three quarters. And I was able to win over half a billion dollars out of there. If you want to check out that video, it will appear at the end screen of this video right here. And it will actually appear at the uh, bottom left of the screen, so... If you want to check that video out, you're welcome to. I'd highly suggest you would. And I'd appreciate it if you'd watch that. And uh, pretty much, yeah, the manager, like I said, he was charging $100 million for yesterday's game. And today he was charging uh, $200 million. That last 10 grand, it's definitely moving forward. We're going to get it out of there here shortly. Hoping so, anyway. Oh, yeah, we're going to get it nice. There it goes. We got it all cleared out of there today. That is incredible. This has been a marvelous game today. Absolutely marvelous. So uh, now I'm going to go ahead and call them over here. I think we have won 13 dice in total. We got 8 of the white dice and uh, 5 of the golden dice. They'll put all 13 of them dice on the pusher. And we got to roll them on down to that lower shelf. Whatever they all land on, we're going to get to multiply our winnings in our gold by those numbers. So let's call them back here and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. So this is where the magic is about to happen. You're about to see all those millions of dollars and all that gold we won get multiplied by a whole bunch, potentially. Really, really hoping all these dice land on some fabulous numbers. So my goal is to teach the manager a lesson today. Try to make as much money as possible. They're doing pretty good so far. We only got like, let's see, two ones on the... Well, we got one one on the gold and one one on the white. That ain't too bad. And um, most of the dice landed on some pretty nice numbers. So I'm going to count everything up, multiply our winnings and our gold by all that. And I'll let y'all know how much money we have made today from a completely free game. So we'll be right back. You all are not going to believe how much money I've won today. This is absolutely outstanding. I ended up winning $20,865,000. And all the white dice totaled up to 29, so I'm going to get to multiply my winnings by 29. And in total, I ended up winning $605,085,000 from a completely free game. Holy guacamole. So that is technically $1.1 billion over that, pretty much, completely for free over the past couple days. That is insane. Well, I hope the manager learned his lesson there. That was... An outrageous win two days in a row 
So it's like over a $1.1 billion win. That is absolutely outstanding right there. And uh, moving on, we also won 131 ounces of gold. The gold I started up to 11, so I'm going to get to multiply the gold by 11. And in total, I ended up winning 1,441 ounces of gold. The spot price of gold is 2,130 an ounce. That means we got $3,069,330 in gold. That is an incredible win for the gold right there. And uh, last but not least, we ended up winning uh, 5,090 six quarters so let's divide that by four to get the dollar amount it means we got one thousand two hundred and seventy four dollars and quarters that is absolutely exceptional so anyhow that is not bad not bad at all for a completely free game so if y'all enjoyed today's video uh, be sure you drop a like and subscribe turn on the post bell notifications that way you get notified for whenever i post a brand new video and also if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of my videos that will appear at the bottom right of the screen there and if you want to check out my previous video, yesterday's video, that will appear at the bottom left of the screen there. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, you can click that button at the top right of the screen. So with all that being said, I'll see you all on the next video. Y'all take care and have an awesome day.